Welcome back to the Gospel of Luke. We're at the last portion of Luke chapter 12, today verse 57 through 59. Yes, and why even of yourselves do you not judge what is right? When you go with your adversary to the magistrate, make every effort along the way to settle with him, lest he drag you to the judge, the judge deliver you to the officer, and the officer throw you into prison. I tell you, you shall not depart from there till you have paid the very last mite. So Jesus warns us, make sure that we're at peace with our neighbor. Do everything that we can that's right to be at peace with our neighbor. There are things that are going to be very difficult ahead if we're not at peace with our neighbor. Why don't we just start by doing what's right? That's verse 57. And when you have an adversary and you're going, you know, to get this sorted out in sort of a legal way with the courts or something, make every effort along the way to settle with him. Can you bend over backwards? If somebody, let's say they've, they're the very largely the party in the wrong, you're very largely the party in the right. What can we do to come to peaceful terms with that person? Even if, even if it's, you know, like they're going to get the lion's share of, of the situation, it's okay. You know, we can usually find a way to get by. Peace and unity with those that are in opposition to us is often more worthwhile than standing up for our rights. I'm talking about material things. If it's a matter of, of free speech, if it's a matter of being able to share the faith, you know, that those some of those things are are a lot more non-negotiable. But if it's something, if this guy took my watermelons, right, maybe I can work out a deal on the watermelons, right? Maybe maybe we can sort that out. But let's be careful because the, the Lord is coming and we should make every effort to be at peace with others. Maybe our mercies and our attempts to be generous and kind, maybe some of those things will actually be used by heaven to help win that person over to the kingdom. I'm not saying we should be let people just walk all over us. Uh, I don't, you know, people need to have a certain amount of respect, but people can respect us when we are kind with them, when we go out of our way to be at peace with our brother. That is, whether you or I like it or not, that's kind of a baseline piece of Christianity. It's going out of my way to be at peace with my neighbor. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, I don't really like this. I don't. Some of your teachings, Lord, are, they strike me in a very difficult way. I'd rather have it another way. And yet, Lord, I surrender to you. I pray each one will surrender to you. Help us to back away from our own preference when you give us a clear word, a very clear teaching. Help us to find it in our heart. You put it in our heart so that we can receive, so we can accept your teaching. Help us, Lord, because we want to be more like Jesus and I surely believe that if there was a dispute over watermelons, that Jesus would find a way, even if he had to give away all of his watermelon, I think he would find a way to do that. If he could somehow, by that, by that act, help bring that party closer to the kingdom. So, Lord, if that's what Jesus would do, show me how I can do it. Thank you for hearing my prayer, Lord, and our prayers in Jesus' name we ask. Amen. May the Lord make us receptive, help us be receptive to things and values that, that well, we kind of don't wish were that way, but happy will we be if we do them. Friend, may the Lord's blessings be upon you, be upon you throughout this day.